In this video lecture, we'll see drawings of design detailing of the section that we designed in our previous section that is isolated footing, column, beam, slab and staircase. So first of all, we'll see the design drawing detailing for the beams. So here in the analysis, we are providing the SMRF that is special moment resisting frame. So as per IS-456, we need to provide the ductile detailing for the structural sections because we are providing the SMRF. Hence, we need to follow the codal provisions of IS-13920-2016. So here for the beams, ductile design detailing is as per the figure 4 of IS-13920-2016 in which codal provisions for the stirrups are provided. So here you can see at the mid, the hoop spacing shall not exceed D by 2. So here you can see in our design, here it is our design as per IS-456. I have also told you the things that is in note that we did not need to provide this spacing, we need to provide this spacing. But for your reference, because we are designing as per this, so have we are provided this. Okay, so but here we need to provide this spacing. That is for the secondary beam and the primary beam, we need to provide 105 mm of spacing at the mid. And for primary beams, we need to provide 145 mm of spacing at the mid. Whereas at the support, we need to provide 100 mm links center to center. Okay, so these are the things as per the IS-13920. So I will explain you these things. So here it is the figure 6 of IS-13920-2016 in which here you can see at the mid the hoop spacing shall not exceed D by 2 that is I will here show you the calculations for the primary beam okay so here you can see the primary beam that is 240 by 325 mm so the total depth is 325 mm whereas we provide the clear cover of 25 mm hence the effective depth is 325 mm minus 25 mm minus diameter by 2 that is 12 by 2 that is 6 okay so here effective depth is 294 mm okay so here as per modal provisions the hoop spacing shall not exceed d by 2 hence here it is the d that is 294 divided by 2 hence we got the value as 147 mm hence for the primary beam at the mid the spacing shall not exceed 147 mm so rounding upon the lower side we got the value as 145 mm Okay, hence we need to provide the spacing of the stirrups at the mid section for the primary beams as the 147 mm. Here you can see here I have provided in the notes. For the primary beam, we need to provide 145 mm spacing. Similarly, for the secondary beam and the plane beam, we need to provide 105 mm spacing because here it is the depth of selection is less than the primary beam, that is, here it is 250 mm. Here you can see this is the secondary beam 240 by 250 mm. Hence, 250 mm is the total depth. Here with respect to that, we need to consider D by 2 value. Hence, we need to provide 105 mm spacing at the mid for the plinth beam and the secondary beam. Okay. Whereas here at the support, we are providing the 100 mm links. Okay. But here it is, you can also provide the lesser links as per the IS-13920 because here you can see for the hoop spacing from the face of the column up to the distance 2D, we need to provide the hoop spacing shall not more than D by 4 or the 8 times diameter of bar or the 100 mm. I will also got the values lesser than 100 mm. But with respect to your experience, with respect to your structure safety, you need to provide the reinforcement detailing. So here I'm go with the 100 mm spacing here for the both different sections that is primary beams and secondary and plinth beams. Okay. Here you can see as per codal provisions of IS-13920, we need to provide minimum two bars for the full length along the top and the bottom so that we are provided that is okay so this is the complete ductile design detailing for the beams okay so the whatever the design we have made for the beams in these sections that we have as per IS-456-2000 so here we need to follow these notes as we here note down so with respect to that here I have also need to note down the values for the different sections that is 145 mm for the primary beams and the 105 mm for the secondary and the plain beams and make a print of this sheet for the site execution purpose. So this is the complete ductile design detailing. So here, so for the site execution purpose, you can also copy this diagram and send for the site execution purpose or otherwise you can also simply draw the diagram as I have here drawn. Here you can see this is simple drawing that you need to provide for the site execution purpose. So here you need to note down the values for the spacing. Here one thing you need to understand is that you need to provide the 50 mm maximum distance from the face of column to the first shear reinforcement. So here it is the complete ductile design detailing for the beam. So now we'll see the ductile design detailing for the columns.
So for the columns, we need to follow the codal provisions as per the figures 12 of IS 139 and 20 2016. So here it is the figure 12 of IS 139 and 20 for the columns and joint detailing. So here for the distance L0 from the top and bottom, we need to provide the special confining zone reinforcements as per clause 7.4.1. So here it is the things I will discuss you when we design the columns. So as I told you while designing the columns, here you can see the nodes I have provided for the confining zone reinforcements. The L0 is equal to 500 mm whereas H by 4 value here we consider as the 750 mm and we provide the confining zone reinforcements as 8 mm tor at lateral dice as 70 mm center center distance. So for that here you can see as per IS 139.20 we need to follow these codal provisions that is this 8.1. So here it is the codal provisions for the L0. L0 is not less than these three conditions that is 450 mm, 1 by 6 of clear span and the larger lateral dimension of the member. So here the larger lateral dimension of the member is 350 mm okay whereas the 1 by 6 of clear span of the member here the clear span of the member is here the total span is 3.25 meter okay whereas the total beam depth is 325 mm hence minus 0.325 hence we got the total clear span of the member is 2.925 so 1 by 6 of this span is divided by 6 that is 0.487 so this is what it is this is L0 as per the design detailing for this section so for this section we need to provide the spacing as per the IS 139.20 here it is. The spacing shall not be more than 1 by 4 of minimum dimension of the beam column. So here it is the 1 by 4 dimension that is 350 divided by 4. 87.5 mm 6 times diameter of smallest longitudinal bar that is 6 times 12, 72 mm and 100 mm. So here it is the minimum value is 72 mm. Hence, we need to round up on the lower side. Hence, we got the 70 mm. So, for the confining zone reinforcement, we need to provide the 70 mm. Okay. So, here it is for the L0 distance 70 mm, center to center distance we need to provide. So whereas, this H by 4 value here we are providing as the 750 mm. So, this is the ductile design detailing for the column. Okay. So, with respect to this drawing, you need to note down here your values for the L0 and the spacing and send it for the site execution purpose. Or otherwise you can also simply draw your drawing respectively like this which shows the L0 distance for the confining zone reinforcements and the other joint detailings. So this is the complete design detailing for the column. So now we'll see the design detailing for the isolated footing. So this is the design detailing for the footing that here we need to provide the LD distance as per IS 456-2000 uh, whereas at the bottom we need to provide the 80 to 100 mm of PCC of 1 is to 2 is to 4 at least in the way you need to provide the reinforcements for the footing okay so now we'll see the design detailing for the staircase which is as per SP34 of figure 10.3 okay the SP34 here it is handbook on concrete reinforcement and detailing so here you can see in the section 10 we have here the figure 10.3 staircase supports at the end of the landing showing the position of main reinforcements. So here you can see the complete design detailing for the staircase in which the this is the development length here we need to provide as we calculated as per IS 456-2000 and here you can see the reinforcement detailing that is the reinforcement goes like this and this, this. So here you can also provide the nosing reinforcements with respect to your conditions. Okay. So this is the design detailing for the staircase. Now we'll see the design detailing for the slabs. So here I have provided you the simple drawing for the design detailing of the slabs. Here it is. So for the one-way slabs, here you need to provide the distribution bars in the longer direction. Along the shorter direction, you need to provide the main steel. Okay. So with respect to the spacing that we have designed as per the MS Excel sheet or as per the manual calculations, we need to provide here and for send it for the site execution purpose whereas in the case of two-way slab you need to provide the main steel along the board directions with respect to the spacing as we calculated as per the microsoft excel sheet design or manual design report okay so this is the design detailing for the slab so in the way here we have completed the design detailing 
for the beams, column slabs, and isolated footings and staircase.